And as a new person that just started in the gym and you want to start dieting and meal prepping, that can be extremely overwhelming. You might not know like how to get started on doing that. You might not know what, how to cook. Cooking all those meals in one day can be really intimidating. And I'm only saying this because I was the same way. I was extremely scared to go out and spend $100 on groceries and cook it all perfectly and make it good food. So like I said before, and I'll say this again, you always want to ease into stuff. You don't want to jump into doing 500 things at once. I remember I tried jumping into 500 things at once one time and I got really stressed out. It actually made me depressed and I, I, I just started beating myself up every single day because I wasn't being good enough and all this, this negativity was running through my head because I was just pushing my limits. I was pushing way beyond my limits. Just like how you don't want to start out going from not working out at all to just jumping over to doing six days a week. You don't want to do that. You want to slowly ease into it. You want to start out with a three day week and then a four and then a five and then a six. And that can take the span of like two months. So we're going to kind of apply the same technique. So instead of just going from eating junk food all day to eating 100% healthy food, we're gonna go from eating all unhealthy foods to eating one to two healthy meals a day. So the easiest approach, and this is probably the first approach that you're gonna to wanna to do to starting to eat healthy, is by just cooking yourself a healthy breakfast. Every morning you're gonna cook yourself a healthy breakfast. I usually just do eggs with egg whites and toast. Since I'm bulking up, I also make oatmeal and I also do a smoothie. But for this video, we're just gonna be focusing on making the eggs and the toast because we're just gonna be slowly easing into things. The oatmeal and the smoothie, that can wait for later once you start getting the gist of everything. So every morning you're gonna make yourself eggs and you're gonna make yourself toast. That's all you're gonna do. That's gonna be your first step into eating healthier. You're gonna do that for a week. You're gonna do that until you start feeling comfortable. You're gonna do that until it starts to actually mentally feel easy and you start to mentally add it into your routine. Then once you start mentally adding it to your routine, you're finally going to do your first meal prep. So for the meal prep, you're probably just gonna wanna shop something easy. You're gonna wanna shop at like an easy store like Walmart or Target. If you got a Costco membership, you're already a step ahead of me because I still shop at Walmart. You're gonna to run to your grocery store and you're gonna get six pounds of meat. You can do the meat of your choice. A very be good beginner meat is chicken. You're gonna to wanna to purchase four bundles of asparagus or you can get other vegetables like carrots. You can get two bundles of asparagus and two bags of baby carrots. And then you're gonna want a bag of sweet potatoes or you can do those little potato balls. You can do those too. I like sweet potatoes more because that helps with testosterone. In this clip, I'm, I'm currently eating steak right now. So you can eat, do steak if you want, but steak is more expensive than chicken. If you wanna help your testosterone levels a little bit more, Go with the red meats and go with the steak. It's gonna be way more expensive, but it's gonna help your testosterone levels. It's got a lot more vitamins than white meat. But as a beginner, I just recommend that you cook chicken. You're gonna to wanna to get some meat cutting scissors and you're gonna to wanna to cut the fat off of the chicken just so you're not getting nasty pieces when you're eating. Once you cut all the fat off of your meat, you can just put it in a big Tupperware container. You can pour some olive oil on it so it doesn't stick to the grill. And then you can pour some seasoning over it. I just do, I just do black pepper when I'm doing chicken. But when I do steak, I do teriyaki, honey, garlic, and ground ginger. Get all that stuff onto the steak. Put the lid on and just shake it up a little bit just to mix everything around. Just to get the marination started. If you want to let it sit in the fridge to marinate for a little bit, you can go do that. But I don't like to waste any time. I just jump right into the meal prep. I throw everything on the grill. I usually... Just do a low temperature, lowest temperature I can go just to get it in into the middle and not just burn the surface of the meat. And then once I get the meat onto the grill, I'm good to start out with the vegetables. So once your meat is all settled on the grill, you can move over to the next objective, which would be preparing your vegetables and preparing your potatoes. You can cook your asparagus in the oven or you can just cook it in the rice cooker cook it in an air fryer maybe, or you can just cook it right on the frying pan. You can do that as well. There's never really a wrong way to just be cooking vegetables. I put it in the oven for like 17 minutes for the asparagus. 
And then uh, after 17 minutes, I just kind of try to stick a knife in there to figure out how soft the asparagus is. If the asparagus is soft enough to just shove your fork right in there easily and eat it, then it's probably done. Make sure that it's bright green. Make sure that you wash your asparagus before you cook it because you don't know what happened. Somebody might have dropped it on the ground at the grocery store. So just run it under some hot water. And then for the potatoes, you do the same thing. You run it under hot water because you don't know who dropped it on the floor. You don't know who was handling with those potatoes. They probably, maybe they didn't wash their hands before they touched those potatoes. So make sure that you wash them. A good way that I usually wash them is I just get a bowl and I just put the potatoes into the bowl and then I fill the sink up with hot water and I fill that bowl up with hot water while the potatoes just kind of sit in the bowl while it's soaking in the hot water. I go get other stuff done during my meal prep just to save some time. Give it a couple minutes in the bowl of water. And then uh, once it's ready, once the potatoes are ready, you can just start cutting them up. Asparagus in the oven. Make sure that you get the asparagus in a bag, pour some olive oil into the bag, pour your vegetable seasoning in. I just pour in vegetable seasoning in this clip and then just shake the bag up and then it's ready to cook. For the potatoes, same thing as the vegetables, cut it up, get it all into a plastic baggie. I usually get the big plastic bags I don't weigh out my potatoes. I just make a judgment call by how much potatoes I put in the bag. Usually when it's the bag is half full, that's how many potatoes I usually cook. Pour in your olive oil. That will go in the oven. You can cook your potatoes however you want. Potatoes are gonna take a lot longer than the asparagus. I usually add an extra five or 10 minutes. And then just same technique for the asparagus. Stick a little butter knife into the potatoes. And if the potatoes are extremely soft and the knife falls right in there like it's butter, then the potatoes are ready to be eaten. So now you just gotta get all of your food into the containers now. Go out and buy 12 containers. Um, I recommend you get the glass ones because microwaving a plastic container, even though it's BPA free, it can still lower your testosterone levels. So make sure you go out and get the glass containers because you don't want to expose any microplastics into your food when you're cooking it in the microwave. Go on Amazon, get the plastic containers and then just start putting your meals into the containers. So now that you got 12 meals, you have six days worth. You don't wanna leave meat in your fridge for six days. You wanna put four days worth of food into the fridge and then the remainder two days worth into the freezer. So you're gonna eat your food one day and then the next day you're gonna eat your meals through the fridge again. And then on that second day, then you can move the two meals from the freezer into the fridge to let thaw out and eat. That's the beginner way to meal prep and to help discipline yourself and getting in a healthy diet. It's a good way to get you started and you can think about how you wanna get it started yourself. And then over time, once this starts feeling easy, you can start to meal prep a third, maybe even a fourth meal over time. And you'll realize that it's not as bad as you thought it was.